this has been a journey in the making for a long time, literally since we <laughs> were born and have lived most of our lives out in Los Angeles. And we now live in the heartland. I get a lot of roles that I probably would not get if someone saw what I look like, both old and young or whatever. I get paid to uh, just do voiceover and they also pay me to stay off the camera. I always wanted to be a sportscaster. My parents were very into current events, so I wanted to be a newscaster too. If there was a cereal in the 70s, I probably was eating it as a child. Nothing thrill, thrilled me and thrills me as much as doing voiceover. So I found my calling and uh, here I have stayed. I was doing a story today for a local PBS show that I freelance for and I, it was quite a drive, but it was it was a relaxing drive because there was so much open farmland. It was like being in the 1950s. My mom used to yell at my brother and me, when are you going to use the beach? And here we were, could literally walk down the stairs to the beach. Yeah, looking back on it, pretty amazing. Anybody that has ever dreamed of going to Hollywood or having a career in entertainment. And so much of these younger generations are definitely right down there. The influencers and they're wanting to do the TikTok videos and the YouTube vlogging and people would say, oh, people have always told me I have a, a great voice, but that's about one, one millionth of what it takes. Parents would drop off the kids and you had eight year old boys smoking, just insane, but not on Michael Landon said, yeah, unfortunately, all of you are going to grow up to be big, fat, ugly, and probably bald. And I, as a little seven year old, I was crushed. I'm a writer, I'm a director, I'm a producer. Oh, do you see these sets? I helped build those sets. I helped design them. I've helped write the stories. Oh, and by the way, I'm also an actor. I was just going through the motions and the excitement as a child, as a seven year old can be for as what my dad thought was a hobby, but I really hadn't thought of it as a career. In this fast paced world we live in, they like watching the Griffith because it calms them down. Mm -hmm. It reminds them of a simpler time. Oh, there's so much to share. There's so many lessons to be learned. There's so much insight to be gained. Actually, we're pulling the curtain back so that you can see the man behind the curtain and find out that it's just a normal guy. If I don't work, then there's a whole crew, a whole group of people that are not going to get paid. Mm -hmm. Those people make money because I'm going to go work behind every news broadcast. You have the producers and you have uh, your editing team and uh, your photojournalists.